Okay, let's jump back into it. It's midnight month, everybody. Hello, YouTubes. I am Grimwit. This is Conarium. We are having a blast. Lovecraft Country. Uh, well, actually, Antarctica. Lovecraft! Okay. Let's get back to it. Okay, that was jarring. When last we left off, I was in great need of a lozenge, and I have grabbed one. So, I just opened up this guy's locker. I assumed this would go somewhere other than just secret knowledge, which, okay. Locked. Wait, not locked? Oh, I guess it is. So that just leaves the elevator, which I assume leads downwards. I'm in the wrong section. Thought I heard some groaning from that room. I suppose not. Okay. So, residential is a bust. This is listed as storage rooms. No. Elevator. Okay. It's listed as three things. Elevator, storage rooms, which I don't think I can get into. Stuck. Stuck. The canteen, of course. There's a storage. Locked. Okay. And that just leaves the elevator. It worked! I'm in the Discord thing. Oh, you're probably in, uh, the ready room. Which is awesome. Okay, let's mess with this Hitachi wand now. Oh. Oh, okay. Down we go, I guess. Yes, we do. Human teeth. It's so unnerving. <laughs> Excellent work by the artist. Of all the things I expected underground, this was not it. Uh, okay, welcome to Rapture, everyone. Where we have a... I have questions. There's a, there's a glossopterus, glossopterus. Oh, that's a great sign right there. That tells me everything I need to know. Let's go in the opposite direction as quickly as we can. Hey, there's a link elevator one. Okay, so we have the floor elevator and the link elevator. We have this. It's stuck. I can't see inside it. It's just black. I really like this elder sign thing. It's stuck. 
protect yourself with felder sign. Where does this go? This goes to the depot. This sounds like a good start to me. I've seen a fish with human teeth? Have you seen a fish with... You know what? I'd believe you if you said you did. It won't open. I actually need this front template, flooded caves, base, it's all here. Provisional camp equipment was developed to underground caverns below the base without any problems. Wait, so the base was put over these caverns on purpose. Submarines also work great. We have submarines. What? Who funded this? They are fast and maneuverable beyond my predictions. It's 1949. We've started exploring some parts of the underwater passage, but <laughs> it's slow going. Hmm. It's stuck. So this, this goes to the bio lab. I want to save that for last. Uh, it's stuck. That just leaves the link elevator. Hey, you! Get back here. What? Oh my god, I have no feet. Maybe that's me, and I'm just falling behind him. They're called sheep head. Or sheep shed. Sheep's head. Sheep's head. Okay. I, I will, I will have to look that up later. Link elevator has been set up. It can reach both of the tower and the bottom levels below the base now. Huh. Camp equipment on the parts. Okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and switch this. Camp equipment and parts for the portable submarine are being transported to the first campsite, tower base, and cavern entrance. Before I leave this level, as any good dungeoneer should know, I need to check out the rest of the, uh, the level before I continue exploring downwards. God. Fish with human teeth. It's beyond creepy. <laughs> All right, what are we doing with here? What do we got? What do we got here? What's going on here? Uh, we've also got. Also, we, we have plenty of... Hmm. Something's beeping. Ah, oh, missing a door handle. Locked. A lot of crazy shit going around around here. Oh, hey! I can't believe they did a cat scare. Are you? Um, <coughs> I'm, I'm sure that's not toxic at all. Let's... How about we, we get out of here real quick? Oh, lovely. How about we, we start and close this up? Nope. Can't, can't do that. How 
How about we go this way? Cat? Oh man, I am tripping balls. Uh, hmm. Can't, can't do anything there. Actually, I can't do much of anything anywhere. Okay. Can I close this now? Nope. Alright, well that's just open from now on. About the origin of the Canarium. Ah, uh, Dr. Faust is tight-lipped about how he came up with the strange exploration device he built long ago. The only thing he has told me is that he's come across some shunned and forbidden volumes about a device of extraterrestrial origin. But again, that's not how you use it, bud. That's not how you use a comment. These sources do not hint that any existed on Earth except in the dreams of those who like to choose certain alkaloid herbs. Alkaloidal. The sessions we hold in the meeting room to adapt our nervous systems to the alien impulses of the machine we were, fri were frightening at first. If used too much, it affects the body to a breaking point. Oh, wonderful. But now, I'm used to its non-human sensations. I've started to feel like the device is clearing my mind to make it absorb much more than ever before. I feel unconfined and much more receptive. But the most peculiar aspect of the sessions or that, because it is a shared experience, I am able to receive impressions, ideas, and even memories which belong to other participants. Usually my mind wanders after the sessions end, and I cannot focus my thoughts until after I have slept for several hours. The strange device surely disorients feeling and bodily functions, but I believe that what it offers is of immense importance. Who wrote this? I found the thing of a jig. Look, the thing of a jig is right here. I'm gonna take it. Sure would like to close this really weird hallucinogenic flower. I just realized these are glowing the dark mushrooms. Whoa. Okay. So there's nothing that way anymore. There used to be, but it's gone now. I guess we're going this way. Oh no, I got mixed up. That's that's actually wait, no! The lights here, the cat that So there What? There's nothing here anymore. Where did it go? I there used to be stuff here, and now it's gone. Re remember? Oh okay, well sure. Just go further in, click click the button, push the Locked. Pull the lever. Uh, uh, okay, so I'm tripping balls now, I guess. <laughs> oh, this is open now. Um. Yep, let's just close this door now. Was that body always there? Uh, hey, hey, buddy. You okay? You seem to be missing eyes. I guess where we're going, we won't need eyes. Hey, month. So Poison Ivy attacked this place. You know, that's probably it. This is probably the origin story of Poison Ivy the entire time. Uh, hi. Who is this? It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. Get a key. And a note. Uh, obviously this was a suicide. Let's read. 
We finally finished ex excavating the monolith that was silently waiting for the soul to see it again. Situated within the circular building we reached with the link elevator. That magnificent piece of carving was buried halfway down under the mound of debris, and most probably it could have been written in the earliest pages of history. I cannot describe exactly my feelings for the first time when I stood aghast contemplating the gigantic stonework inside of those time-worn halls of silence. Only God, or gods, know how many ages have passed since the initial craving, or its initial carving. I can read good. Me read good. I should be proofreading everybody's shit. Just thinking about its age sends shivers down my spine. Which civilization could have constructed such grandeur, now wavering forlorn goodbye, without giving away the secrets of its masters? Furthermore, even though most of them are damaged beyond repair, we spotted some symbols resembling the rock art of the Sahara Desert in the Mid-Eastern Algeria. We don't have any strong evidence to suggest anything, but Carnell Blake clings mostly to the continental drift theory. In any case, we don't have enough data on this, on this, uh, on its age. But it is evidently evident that history needs to be rewritten yet again. Why was that shoved into this guy's mouth? What? What? Oh my God! These are elder things. Oh. Yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. But aren't you south of everything? Oh, yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. What's more south than south? We're at the South Pole. Okay, hallucinations aside, can I open this now? I can't. Huh. I don't know why I didn't expect that to work. Oh, good. Ha. Hi, face relief. Whoa. Having some brain problems. Something's scratching. Is it this? Are you are you scratching at my head? Watermelon. I believe no more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores, for there are things that cannot be undone. I think you should retire to your room. I... I'm going to think a bit more. We've got an Arctica right there. I'll retire to my room in a second, just before I look at this thing. Look, swirls! I wonder if this is like the flower of the elder thing or something. That's, that's the world. Okay, we've actually we've seen this somewhere. They're kind of comical looking if you think about it. Antarctica. Oh, there's somebody sitting there. Hey, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna walk over to you. So, let me get this straight. You've been lighting candles and the way to your desk, not just on your desk. Clearly, you want to be left alone. The darkest fire? I'm gonna to go to my room as soon as I'm done. Oh, okay, 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 come on. 
Jupiter eating his son. You shouldn't even have that. That hasn't been discovered yet. Or painted. I don't think that was painted yet. Oh, I, I just have a base button now. Mm, pretty sure that uh, that belongs in a museum. It's representative of uh, sleep paralysis, which I believe was why it was painted originally. I actually don't know anything about this, but, uh, you know... Gay love surpasses time, I guess. No offense, man. We need to we need to clean this place up. I worked as a janitor for a good long time, and I can see a lot of work that needs to be done. I forget about the floorboards. We can fix that up later by calling a carpenter, but first off, we need to get rid of all these candles. They're creating a whole lot of suit. My D and D urges want me to open up this chest and see what's inside. It's locked. Oh, this is actually me, Mr. Gilman. In a second. Locked. Okay. Now. Uh, that doesn't look so good. Let's, uh, let's go the other way very quickly. Okay. Well, this... Mm. So we're in Antarctica, close to the Mountains of Madness. Yep. Are we still two raccoons in a trench coat? I don't think we're in a trench coat anymore. That wasn't just fancy, that was funsy. Oh, this journal's been updated. First Canarium event and a brief visit to the past. I am at a complete loss for words. Simple remarks are insufficient to express my feelings right now. Was it premonition or a vision? Vision. How should I interpret all of this? I don't know exactly. Suddenly I find myself drifting into familiar, a familiar room. A room that was long ago buried in my graveyard of memories. Scribed an epitaph of things long past. The purple prose go on and on. Hey look, Saffron. Ah, my face. Alright, somebody's been playing World of Warcraft. Somewhat humanoid in form. These sculptures initially remind us of terracotta army sculptures carved at the as a funerary art buried with the first emperor of China to protect him in the afterlife. But, judging by the writings on some of the bass reliefs, boss reliefs, now we believe that these wooden puppets or golems were used to carry out some tasks for their masters. Just like the Egyptian Ushiptiu Ushib funeral fig funerary figures, which are all which are the servants of their owners in the hereafter. We saw the golems in several sizes, and it was terrifying to see the huge ones sitting in silence on carved and polished rocks, or rock stools, as if waiting for a command. Kyoki. There are lots of gateways leading to the dark and damp corridors that were mostly carved in ages past. Some of them were covered by strange ivory-like plants swaying back and forth despite there being no external forces to move them. They seemed to come from le levels below, creeping the through crevices in the rocks. Oh, the rock walls. To stop probable superstitious gossip amongst the crew, Dr. Barlow, our bounty expert, or our botany expert, personally started to examine them. Here's a picture, not of a plant that I have been describing, but of a severed hand. Because art, 
I don't have to explain anything to you. Art. The first submarine exploration revealed what was lying in the underwater caves. The most striking feature were the structures with openings in them, like doors and windows. They made us wonder whether those caverns had been carved underwater, or if they had been submerged at a later date, and thus had become redundant to those who had carved them. Getting some temple vibes. Oh, I have a trophy item now. Oh, look, a vibrator. Let's grab that. Oh, wow, that's... I'm getting a nice close look at this vibrator. Whoa, all right, yeah. That's, that's how I want to look at things. I, I always keep things like maybe an inch in front of my face so that they clip through my nose whenever I look at them. I make fun, but this game actually isn't so bad. Pronunciation of... Okay, does anybody... I get the irony. Alright, I get the irony. It's pronunciation of... Zieses? Zieses? Zieses. Zieses. Set the fuck down. There's a whole bunch of letters that, thank God, I don't have to read through. I, I took the entire map off the wall so I can take a look at it. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, look, it's Antarctica. I don't didn't really need to. I think I could get an even better view just by going up close to it. <laughs> Hallucinogenic plant room. See what gears we can turn later on. We've got our own submarine. Fucking submarine. In fact, look at this entire place. A lot of money went into building this place. We had to get metallurgists, carpenters. We had to get excavationists to dig down like my, a mile beneath. Forget about the botany alone. I have a theory have a theory that this is real, but not necessarily real. Everything's a little too ornate. Everything's a little bit too expensive. The amount of money that it would have taken... Oh, okay. The amount of money that it would have taken... Hi. I don't know if you can hear me, but... Searching is the only way. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Damn it. Who was he? Is that not Dr. Faust? Anyway. I was about to say that the uh, amount of money that would have been needed to create this entirety, including a submarine, would be kind of obscene. There we go. Uh, up or down. Up to the tower. Down to the cavern. Let's try the tower first. I just got an achievement called Bellhop. I like the music. Huh. I, hmm. I think we're in Elvish country. Hey, this is amazing. 
most of the ground level structures have been crumbled and rounded from untold eons of savage storms, and thus weathered into shapeless ruins. However, both the ground level and the cavern systems below are clearly displayed in these bas reliefs. The most striking features depicted in this grand panorama, I believe, are the tall, occasional towering spires, which somehow resemble a lighthouse. They all seem like focusing a light beam towards a colossal structure in the center. Hmm. Could there be some sort of religious meaning behind this? Or simply something that has a more practical use? First contact. Due to intense interference, unfortunately, I couldn't understand the contents relayed me of the relayed message. I better be on the lookout for any possible incoming transmissions. Also, I can't be certain, but there's a good chance of finding someone in the lower sections of the base. Why well, didn't go that way? Frank, I don't know if you can hear me, blah blah blah. Damn it, who is he? Dr. Faust remarks about the boss reliefs in the tower like structure. This is amazing. Blah 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 blah. Oh, I can even replay it if I want, but I don't. Although I gotta admit, this is probably the most clever renditions I've ever seen of the boss reliefs uh, mentioned in the Mountains of Madness. This is good. This is real good, actually. I'm kind of impressed. Beyond impressed. I mean, this is better than what I would have imagined they looked like. No Shogoths. No showing of the Elder Things, anyway. Well, they kind of put themselves in their own work. Sure, let's take a look outside. Okay, we're in the, uh, the tower that might be mentioned in that box. Let's look very familiar. Yeah, wasn't one of these what we woke up in front of? Oh! There's... sure. So this is the strong light that can be seen from ground level. Lasers. I don't think this is actually necessary to come back up here. But it's damn cool. get into the warmth and safety of a new dark age with a flashlight. Jarring. I like how the light almost keeps up with the cursor. Brought to you by Radix. No, no, let's keep going down. Hope we get to ride our submarine. Funny, I should mention submarines. We're straying further and further from the initial base up above. Going down lower than James Sunderland. Oh, no, no protection, no nothing. This violates all kinds of OSHA regulations. Ooh, an axe, gimme. Okay. There's some strange. 
strange vegetations filling most of the hallways as amazing as it is deadly. There's a hidden world right beneath the Apuarut base, and even though I was prepared to find such a place, it was way different than imagine, imagining alone. We tried to cut our way through, but the plants reacted with highly poisonous gas, seemingly coming from its glowing buds. I issued a warning to stop anyone to go uh, anyone going near any of these plants they came across in my in the, any of those ca caverns. <coughs> Having trouble, need to slow down. Pardon me. I also noticed a strange phenomenon. Do 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 do. After I spent some time examining a sample from the plant, it occurred to me that individual vines grow and shrink in length on demand. It also seems as though it can move even though there seems to be no air currents. And this movement seems too regular to be caused by natural factors. Yeah. This may sound strange, but I have the notion that this is conscious, or at least on some level. Hey, anyone here? Dr. James? Dr. Morgan? Anybody? Goodness, this goes down. Where are they, for God's sake? I cast no shadow. What? There's a lot to take in. I assume that's one of the plants. Yeah, they're moving around without anybody to say so. Uh, hmm. Mm, maybe, maybe not go that way. Oh, look, a button. Let's push the button. Looks like something's missing here. Oh. It's weird. This thing is six pointed, not five. Blasphemy. Oh. Hey, what's up there? There's some more Elder Sign, a more modern version. Burn it with fire. Heck yeah. Wait a second, this Elder thing is upside down. Huh. Uh, let's see, I have a hand. Graphic cylinder. Oh, I thought it was just a thing. I don't know if I can go upstairs again for the phonographic cylinder thing. I'm sure there was some place we could have played it. Oh, there was. It was in the bio lab. Is it worth going back? Oh, hey there, Loki. I, I guess we're going this way. No, we're not. I might have to go back anyway, which is good. I'll listen to the phonograph. It's all kinds of creepy shit. These ivy like plants are blocking the way. Probably for the best. Okay. I think I gotta go back anyway. Something is the source of the light. Also, I think I see something glowing over there. Fire, maybe? Did we light these fires? Or were they always burning since the world's been turning? Well, I didn't start the fire. Though I didn't lie it, I think, I think I'll try to fight it. Why do you guys tune into me again? Bunch of rocks went there first. I did it with a single torch. 
Oh, you missed the one guy's uh, room where he lit so many candles that he even put them in his own way. I'm sure he burned to the hem of his pants all the time. Uh, Link elevator. Wait, that's where I'm coming from. Also, this. Are there any further clues as to why we have a tree just like here? For strategic tree purposes? Maybe we'll figure that out. Meanwhile, I think I saw a phonograph somewhere in here. In the hallucinogenic plant room. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, one of our researchers, C. Lenning, was found dead in the bio lab last Tuesday. Cause of death is currently uncertain. But judging by the accumulation of a mass of green substance found in his mouth and throat area. Dr. Barlow, our botany expert, thinks that Lenning was smothered by small, sticky, greenish clumps that look like pollen, belonging to the living samples of the plant Sahiti, which is thought to have become extinct during the Paleozoic era. Dr. DeWitt will perform a post-mortem examination on his body soon. Oh shit, you're right. I forgot that I don't have my keys, the key to my place thing. Maybe that's where, like, the the uh, big twist is going to be. Like, I go into the room and find my own dead body. What a twist! Hmm, okay, so breathing in these things is really bad for you, and I'm going to die. Probably. Eventually. Phonograph recording. Oh, it's just a dictation of the recording. So, so I have an axe. Why do I have an axe? Okay. What can I use the axe for? What can I use the axe for? No, Loki. <laughs> To chop at the ivy? Hmm. I can't think of any reason to return upstairs yet. I don't think I missed the keys to my own room. I can take a closer look at the ivy. When you have an axe, every problem looks like a tree. I, uh, I'm having trouble learning to drive. Hey, I can fix that! If it walks, I can fix that. Let's try the ivy. Say it goes back faster or something along those lines. You know, there's all this fire around me down here. I could just throw the fire at it. I have plenty of things to burn. Okay, let's mess with the ivy. The way ahead is blocked by this curious vegetation. Part of the strange flora is blocking the way here. These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. The way ahead is blocked by Why this would you put curious three vegetation. Things? Why do you question the weed, Grim? Light is on this wall for some reason. Well, I mean, I'm glad I went back, but... Did I come all the way down here just for an axe? Wasn't there supposed to be a submarine down here? Disappointed. This guy is painfully English. And I went to that accent. That's probably because it's an American trying to do an English accent. Wait a second. What the hell am I looking at here? 
Okay, I realize my knowledge of elder things and all things eldritch are a little bit limited, you know, on purpose, but this looks like nothing that I could imagine the elder things putting. Like this, this I could understand as a, uh, a, a texture style, but this, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Lunchbox. Hmm. Could be a in a boy band voice. Um nothing of the tower. I got an axe from down here. Okay, let's go back to the original uh Atuata base or whatever it's called. The UAB. was really iconic. Yeah, you haven't seen the lizard with human teeth yet, have you? Three-eyed crow. Now we know what these guys have been reading. Oh. Okay. They took these from, or they're taking them downstairs. For, for raisins. Locked. But I have an axe. Everything's unlockable now. This one's... That's stuck. Mm, can't go in there. Try the canteen again. Just reminding myself that there's brown sludge everywhere. And, uh, hey, you, you know what? Windows to the outside world kind of help when you can see through them. At least it's allowing me to go back to these places. So that's something. I want to check outside again. Hey, you know what? I got an axe. Let's destroy this. This device, its noises are resonating in my mind. So, okay. I thought it was one thing and I was wrong. It does not actually look like the uh, the orb in the lighthouse. So... Sahiti plant. Hey, it's that plant that we saw earlier. It's being used, or at least the pollen is probably being harvested for the purposes of these sessions. Of nightshade and beyond. Oh, nightside and beyond. Diversahi. Diversa 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 I have questions. And don't make fun of my frame break. My poor computer is doing the best it can.
Alright, that's doing a whole lot for me. What the fuck am I doing? First button, mild fuckery, higher fuckery, very higher fuckery. There's fuckery afoot, gentlemen. And the electrical condition on this third air seems to prevent communication. What, 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 what? I heard something earlier. F. F2. Is it the last one? TJ, this is exactly what I needed you for. Barely hear it. I assume I can turn up the volume. Okay, the volume doesn't do dick. It's four, four letters. I believe it's... It's MF25. I, uh, I just got an achievement for that. Just let that roll. Was this place open before? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. I was dealing with it earlier. Okay, we go outside. Yes, we do. My theory is that there's something outside I need to hatch it with a hatchet. It's good rhythm. Okay, there's nothing over here. Let's just follow the uh, fence. Follow the flow. It always knows. Oh my goodness, uh, am I getting lost and dead? Let's take a quick save. I saved it in slot 9. 
I didn't change the slot, but it's in slot nine now. It's not safe to go farther away from the expedition base than this I'm way. glad you stopped me. to chop ice and chew bubble gum and I'm all out of ice. So I assume that there's there's some delicious bubble gum around me. Jesus cat you scared me. I already had one cat scare this game. Uh well he, here's a platform. It's definitely here. You know what when building a uh, uh, camp in the Antarctic it's very important that you have your platform. You may need it. Can I slide down there? What? Wait, did I get turned around? How am I here? What the fuck? I guess while I'm here. I don't understand this. Oh, uh, Lucky says hi, Kitty. She's looking at something on the, on her chair, on her throne, and now she's looking at me. Like what? Okay, somehow, I thought it was going the opposite way from here. Okay. So there's nothing out here. Like, literally. It's a desert of ice. I... I'm a little at a loss. So... We're also really close to the end of this hour. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's put ourselves right back. Whoa, that's, that's a, that's a wall. I hurt my nose. Oh, she's, I forgot my system. Let's save game. Uh, okay. I can save up to 29 slots. Why is it just going? Oh, auto save, auto save, quick save, auto save, auto save. That's what's going on. Save it in slot one. Yep. There we go. So we've been doing this for an hour and 45 minutes. Feels like, feels like longer than that. But uh, let's go ahead and quit the session. And tomorrow, we'll pick this up. So, yeah. <coughs> so for YouTube, it'll be the next day. And for you guys, it'll be tomorrow. So I guess it's tomorrow for everyone. Because this is the last session of the Thank you very much for tuning in. And, uh... Yeah, everybody have a wonderful day. Don't forget your keys. <laughs>